Hey vet friends, it's time for the top 10 things you need as a veterinary student in 2020. But before we get started, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button if you are enjoying the content we are producing here. This is really for first and second year vet students who are mainly being required to be online. So that means muck boots, not really needed. Scrubs, scalpels, suture kits, and the normal things you think of needing as a veterinary student, not really needed, not required this year. Instead, here are your top 10 items that you need for veterinary school in 2020. At number 10, I actually have two things. I have a notebook and a stylus. Notebooks, studies of reason for that is because studies have shown that by taking notes by hand allows the person taking notes the time to process the information. While taking the notes, this includes if someone is doodling even while listening and watching the lecture. The simple act of doodling on a paper increases the ability to memorize and recall information. If you doodle on a paper and you are struggling to reproduce the exam, it's been shown that if you make those same doodle motions that it actually helps you recall the information. Now, I'm not suggesting that you doodle and not take notes. Rather, I'm suggesting that you take notes by hand on paper and transfer, transferring them into the computer after. Repetition is important to learning. My other recommendation is for those of you who enjoy taking notes on your computer, I suggest a high sensitivity stylus. High sensitivity, that means that it's not that big fluffy ball at the end. It has a nice flat piece in the front and is going to allow you to really get um, a nice smooth glide over your surface that almost makes it as if you are writing on your chosen device. My preference is that Mixu that I just showed you. They're pretty cheap, they're 10 to 20 bucks, but you really can't get better for their swipe functionality and even drawing with it on your devices. At number nine, a pair of Bluetooth headphones. Bluetooth headphones, they can come in a case. I enjoy the earbuds myself. Other people have other varieties. Uh, maybe the big full headphones, but as long as they have a headphone and a microphone and they're Bluetooth compatible so that you can hook them up to your computer, I highly suggest having this. It helps for your classes, your meetings. I, if you can, get some noise canceling one, especially if you have little ones running around the house like I do. Um, even if you have roommates or neighbors that get noisy or rowdy or you are easily distracted, these help connect better sound, better quality, for you to get that information from the computer to you through your Zoom meeting or WebEx or whatever you're using. Highly, highly suggested that you get a pair of these Bluetooths. For myself, I was super surprised at how long some of these classes were. My first day, I had four hours of one class on Zoom. So again, these online classes, they can be long. And there's not much travel time needing to get from one section to the next. You don't have to travel across campus or to a different campus. So often your professors will take the entire a lot of time, sometimes even going over. Making sure to stay hydrated during these times, very important. So I definitely suggest having a water bottle or a glass of water to drink while you're Zooming or WebExing or whatever your chosen platform is. Having something that's gonna help keep you hydrated, is going to help increase your mental capacity and your endurance during these long class periods. Number seven, a hobby. That's right, a hobby. We are in vet school and it is stressful, very stressful. It takes long, ridiculous hours sometimes. I know my first two classes, I started at 7 a.m. doing pre-class assignments and after classes were out, that's like six hours of classes, I took another seven hours after. I, I was up till nearly 11 o'clock for the first two days. Um, but once I got going, got up into the swing of things, pushed myself to get as far ahead as reasonably could be expected or acceptable, I gave myself time to actually work on some of my own hobbies and it helped greatly with my mental capabilities. Um, my prefer preferred choice of a hobby disc golf. That's right. Frisbee golf for some of you. Disc golf for me. I really enjoy playing. My other hobby is writing. I enjoy writing. I wrote uh, a novel a couple years ago. It's currently being edited. 
and maybe one day I'll publish it. I don't know, but it's something I enjoy to do. Uh, so this weekend, that's what I was doing. I had a couple hours to spare. It was late at night, so I couldn't go disc golfing. Just went, started writing some of my book, started editing. So, and then of course, <laughs> yeah, this YouTube thing. So when you get some time, give yourself a mental break. Do something that you enjoy. I know we all enjoy veterinary medicine. That's why we're here. We are called to do this. But we need a break. We need to be able to just take a step back and enjoy some other things for ourselves. So number six, a calendar or a planner. A calendar and planner, they are essential to vet school. There is so much going on. You need to be able to track your vet school assignments, your group pod projects, the different modules you're doing, the learning that you're doing, the alternate certificates, the exams. You need a calendar or a planner. If you're trying to do it all on your own and keep it all in your head, it's not going to work. I mean, you may be brilliant, but granted, this is vet school. This isn't undergrad anymore. It is imperative that you should have a planner of some kind. You can set it up on your computer. You can have a physical planner. As long as you have some way to track uh, everything that's going on and making sure that you have what you need to have in order to succeed. Number five, a support and study group. These classes take up a lot of time. I know, my, like I said before, my few first few days, I felt like I was playing catch up. But once I got going, once I got my planner, once I got my stuff together, I definitely needed to get somebody to help study with, to help me keep track and keep on task with assignments. Because even with a planner, sometimes we just miss things. Or with our assignments, sometimes people understand what is going on, what they're looking for better than ourselves. And wow, just having four or five people to study with made a world of difference. Having people that actually are going through the same thing as you to share your struggles with, to share your concerns, your worries, and your wins, it helps so much. Highly, 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 highly telling you, get a study group, get a support group, get together, meet on Zoom, meet on WebEx, get together with people that are going through the same thing you are. It'll help. So number four, you need a solid internet connection. How are you gonna do that? You're gonna go out and invest in a cable modem. That's right, invest in a cable modem. You can get one for as low as $60 and it's gonna last you till you're out of vet school. If you are renting a cable modem, they're gonna charge you between five and $10, usually a little closer to 10, sometimes even 15, depend on your internet provider. Go on Amazon, go to Walmart, find yourself a cable modem that has wireless router capabilities that is a DOCSIS 3.0 or DOCSIS 3.1 and use that. Don't rent your modem, save yourself the money every month of renting one and you're gonna actually end up being ahead after the first six to seven months. So go ahead, go out, get yourself that router. People talk about wants versus needs all the time. This is a need, really it is. Go get yourself one, save yourself some money. So number three, you need a computer. A two-in-one is preferred, something along the tablet line. I personally have a Lenovo Yoga. That is my preference. I like how it is able to not only be a computer, but I can flip it all the way over and use it as a tablet. I can split the screen and watch Zoom on one while taking notes on the other side. There's a lot of functionality for me on this, um, but I have other people that enjoy having a computer and a separate iPad, or they like the Surface, whatever your preference is, just make sure that it meets the specs that you're gonna be needed in order to run whatever exam software that you'll be using for your college. Number two, 
a dedicated place to study. This is one of the most important, if not, well, it's pretty darn close to being the most important. That's why it's number two. Dedicated places to study means that you don't have distractions. You're not so comfortable that you're going to fall asleep like in your bed, but you're not so uncomfortable that you're not going to be able to pay attention. You don't have kids jumping up and down around you. Your animals aren't going to jump up into your lap. You want a dedicated place to study. Study at the same place every time. Whether that's in your bedroom, at a desk, or whatever. Make it dedicated so that the only purpose that you use it for is studying. There have been studies shown that if you don't have a dedicated place to study, it's harder for you to learn the material. There have been studies that have shown that even just by taking a lamp and putting it in an area or using that only when you study, turning on that lamp only when you are studying, uh, increases your ability to comprehend the material so much more. I, I don't even, I can't, I would love to uh, really quote the study to you. Maybe I'll take a look for it and drop it in the links below. Maybe I'll do that. I don't know yet. Uh, we will see. But make yourself have a dedicated place to study. Don't be like me. Right now, I'm in the process of moving, so my house is in disarray, which is why I'm currently in my son's room making this video for you. And number one, blue light blocking glasses. Yes, this is my number one. It should be self-explanatory if you've been online for any given period of time doing any online classes. This is the most important thing that you can possibly have. It helps your eyes, saves on your fatigue. These things are amazing. I spent my first two days without blue light blocking glasses. I bought it at the end of the first day, got it on the third day, and what a difference in the eye fatigue that it has made to me. If you take a look at the video, you can see the blue reflecting off the glasses right now. Take a look at your Zoom or your WebEx. The people that are reflecting these blues, they're the same people that already have figured out what I have. Blue light blocking glasses are needed. They work. If you don't believe me, ask them. Ask them for a testimony, and I guarantee they will tell you that they are worth every penny that you spend on them. And they're only like six to ten bucks. You can get them in two days. Go ahead, get these. These are essential for taking online classes. Make sure that you do that. All right, so anyway, that's it for me, folks. Uh, if you like this content, please, please subscribe. I will continue to put out more content. I expect my next video out probably in the next couple of days as we have a test coming up soon. And I will be using that as part of my review session. So again, if you like that, hit the subscribe button down at the bottom. You know where it's at. And I'll see you in the next video. So if there was something that I didn't mention that you think should have been mentioned, maybe a printer, maybe something else that you have, think that you have need for that should have been mentioned as one of the top tens, put it down in the comments. Let me know. Maybe I will change my mind or throw out an honorable mention in the future. So yeah, let me know what I didn't include that should have been included. So thanks for stopping by. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Make sure to do that so you can be alerted to future episodes that will be coming out. And I'll see you in the next video, guys. Thanks.